okay, I need to talk faster this time. I've done this so many times. I don't know what to do, guys. First of all, I really hope nobody I know watches this. I don't know how to block that. Just annoying that these people I know found my channel. I mean, it's my fault because there are videos on my channel that I've never shared. I don't know, though. I don't know. It would be really bad if someone I knew saw this. Um... I don't know what to do, guys. Uh, sorry. I don't know. My brain is like so stuck right now. So, I'll just have to start back. So you don't... So you know where I'm coming from. For like the last... People already know my story. It's on my channel. But the last couple months have been worse. Again, with food. And, like, I still eat. I'm, like, it's not like I just stopped eating again. Like, I haven't relapsed. I just, um, I mean, I started eating a little less. But not really. Um, but since school started, um, I don't really want to talk about school. I'm so over the semester. I'm so done. But, I mean, it's been a good distraction, I guess. But it's also made it worse too because all the activity which I've never considered myself an active person but like the only explanation for how I've been feeling would be that activity because like I dance and I walk a lot for school and I started doing exercises again every day which this is why I hate exercises because I cannot just be like exercise to make myself feel good yay like it always becomes another way of like just feeling in control and then it starts to control me because even though it's not like a ton I don't like work out crazy like it like a lot of people do which I will never understand but like just what I do like every morning is like still so hard for me because like I don't want to get out of bed anyways and that makes it so much harder and I just get so miserable because I'm always so hungry um, and I'll explain that, so like even though I've been eating, I just have felt way hungrier lately, and not like just my stomach, I mean like, I just crave food all the time, like it was, it's always been that way since I started having, I never got over that, really, like it's gotten better when I recovered my weight, cause you're not starving, but it never went away of course and but it just gotten worse where like all I think about is food like all the time and I just look forward to my eight two meals a day like decent sized meals but like still just having those gaps and just feeling like I'm gonna die I just want food that's all I can think about it was just getting really bad lately and like every night every night I want to binge so badly like I'm always like that close to binging and the only thing that stopped me <laughs> sorry that was my friend she was driving me I'll look at that later <sighs> although I really just need someone to talk to right now that's why I'm talking to my camera I need to talk to my friend um, the only thing that stopped me from binging was knowing like um, I had to go to school the next day and I had to see people and I just knew that I would skip all my classes and I would just be miserable because if I feel super full and gross and horrible I'm not gonna I will not see people I will not do it also my parents would almost always be here and I can't really binge like whenever I think of a binge I think of all the foods I want and like I I I just I wouldn't want to just binge on what was available down in the basement so my parents wouldn't find out like I would want other foods so that those two things stopped me from binging and just I didn't want to binge because I don't want to get fat and I don't want to be a binge eater and I don't want to feel guilty so but just I always every night was so tempted to like I would watch bingers on YouTube and um, I mean I still like this is very this is all just this last week this is just all very recent so I just do that and um I don't know I like 
I knew I was gonna binge, but I was just like waiting for it to happen. And then the holidays I knew were coming and I just didn't even think about it because I was like, I didn't want to think about it. I didn't want to make a plan. I just was like, I'll probably binge. I've been wanting to for so long and it's Thanksgiving and like, I'm gonna be miserable, but I might as well just binge. I kind of had that in the back of my mind because I didn't know if I was capable of not binging because there's like, the only way I don't binge is I go in my room so I'm not surrounded by food and if there's something good out, like, sitting out on the counter, I have to hide it, or, like, leave, because I would just want it so badly, it'll make me miserable, unless I can have it, so I just didn't even think I was capable of not binging on Thanksgiving, so I didn't really go in with a plan, and I ended up binging, like, but the thing is, people are there, so I couldn't just completely binge, sorry this video is so long, I could completely binge, so, I mean, it could have been a lot worse, but, like, I ate way too much, and I, like, was so miserable and full. I just, like, cried and wanted to die, and I felt hopeless, because it was like, this is vacation, this is what I look forward to, this is what I should look forward to, because I hate my normal life, like, there's no escaping, and I really love my family, and every time I see them, I have to have food issues, because I can't do it my way without... A lot of stress trying to like control it when it's a little awkward you know unless I'm by myself and I'm just so sick of it all so I just felt hopeless and miserable and full and like didn't know how I'd get through feeling that full but of course the next day came I was hungry again um, and I was so close to binging again and I didn't yesterday I was so close and then today and I knew today like once you binge once like Thanksgiving it just like opens the door and now I'm so scared it's just gonna keep happening so I thought today would be a problem because I knew my parents were leaving my dad when I told him when I told my parents my how much I've been wanting to binge they were he was being like really weird and he's like oh you might have to come with us Saturday um, so you don't binge, we have to, like, always be watching you, and, like, he was being really controlling, and I was, got really mad, I'm like, uh, no, you can't control me, and, and no, I don't want to go with you on Saturday, and, um, like, that just made me so mad, because I didn't want to go with him today, like, I don't get along with my grandparents a lot, and, like, I didn't want to have to deal with another Thanksgiving meal, because, that I knew I'd binge, I'd binge anyway, but not as bad, because there'd be people there anyways, but I was hoping I wouldn't binge even if I stayed home, but then I had to get up earlier and go upstairs, whereas there's food sitting out, like I had to because someone was dropping my dog off, and um, I was like, great, now I'm upstairs, and I'm really hungry, and the last thing I want to go do is spend the next hour and a half like I do every other morning, exercising and showering and like making myself look decent. I really didn't want to do it. It's just so much energy and it's so hard every morning and I just didn't want to have to go do it again because I had gotten like two days off doing that. Um, I just didn't want to do it and I'm like, or I could just stay up here and eat anything I want. And that's what I ended up doing. And so this morning was horrible. I cannot tell you how much I ate today. I think it's more than I've eaten in one day ever. And it's not even, it's like two o'clock and I have eaten more. I just can't even tell you. Like, people are like, how, like, I'm sure you couldn't have had that much. No, I had like every food, like we own a lot of food. I ate like all the food we owned that was like,